Hello everyone. In behalf of the Superintendent of the Philippine Military Academy, Vice Admiral Alan Ferdinand V. Cusi, I, as the Commander of Cadets, would like to give you some updates on the new normal here at PMA. Um, this is addressed to the parents of the cadets, especially to the parents of the new, newest members of the Cadet Corps, the uh, parents of the PMA class of 2024. This is also addressed to the alumni of uh, PMA and to the general public, those who would like to know more about what's happening here at uh, the Philippine Military Academy. Uh, let me start with the uh, measures that the PMA has taken in order to address the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. In February of this year, one of the first measures that uh, PMA took was to lock down uh, the Philippine Military Academy and to close the gates to the general public. Uh, this coincided with the declaration of uh, lockdown in Baguio City by the city mayor, Mayor Magalong. Uh, during that time, Mayor Magalong also canceled the uh, celebration of the Panagbenga Festival. Festival. And um, because of this, PMA decided to postpone the alumni homecoming. So instead of having the alumni homecoming on uh, February 15, we had it in February 22. Now, not a lot of uh, alumni were able to come to PMA, especially the Balikbayan uh, alumni, who were not able to uh, rebook their flights back to the U.S. or to other countries. In March of this year, PMA started the uh, implementation of the wearing of face masks and also that of social distancing. The uh, classes of the cadets were also revised to accommodate online classes. On March 14, we had a very important milestone in PMA and that was the recognition rights of the uh, members of PMA class 2023. Now, this was a special event. However, the parents of the cadets were not able to attend this. No, this was a first in the uh, history of the, of the academy. And on May 10, uh, we were supposed to have the graduation rights of PMA class 2020. However, this was again postponed to a later date and we finally had the uh, graduation rights on May 22. This time also, without the parents of the cadets. Um, one innovation that uh, happened during the graduation was that uh, the graduation rights were held jointly with that of the Philippine National Police Academy. Again, this is a first in the history of PMA. And, to add to that, the commencement address of the Commander-in-Chief, who is the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President uh, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, was delivered via live feed over the internet. So again, another first. And on June 15, the uh, reception rites of the uh, members of the PMA class of 2024 with no visitors. So again, the parents were not able to watch this and this was not aired uh, live on the internet. But uh, we also took measures to ensure that the new cadets were COVID free. So they had to report to the nearest unified command uh, for instance, those from the uh, Zamboanga area reported to the Western Mindanao Command. Those in the, in the Davao area reported to the uh, Eastern Mindanao Command. Those in the Visayas reported to CENTCOM. And those in Luzon reported either to uh, the AFP Medical Center in Viluna, Quezon City, or uh, to the Northern Luzon Command. And here, 
they all went through a swab test. Fortunately, no one tested positive. So on June 7, all of the, all of the uh, cadet candidates were brought to uh, Fort Del Pilar here in Baguio City. And since then, they have uh, undergone preparatory activities uh, to prepare them for the reception day which happened on June 15. Um, we would like to report that PMA remains COVID-free and uh, none of our cadets have been affected by uh, the COVID-19. Um, the uh, new graduates of PMA, the PMA class of 2020, were fetched by their respective uh, uh, major services and right now they are in their respective training areas. So for the next uh, academic year, we will continue with the online classes so that we would minimize the face-to-face uh, -face, uh, lectures that will be given by our instructors. Let me now proceed to the uh, other changes that we are implementing here at PMA. After the untimely death of Cadet Dormitorio last year in uh, September, a lot of changes happened here at PMA. One of the biggest uh, changes that uh, was implemented was the eradication of hazing among the uh, Cadet Corps. A campaign against hazing was launched and uh, what was very important about this was that it was not only by the administration of PMA but by the cadets themselves. And because of this, this proved uh, to be a correct formula in uh, eradicating hazing. During the time, our superintendent also uh, implemented the integration of the cadets into one room. For instance, in one room, we had all of the classes represented. We had a first class cadet, a second class cadet, third class, and a fourth class cadet all inside the room. And uh, this proved to be very effective in eradicating hazing because the upper class cadets felt responsible for the lower cadets and uh, there was a, a camaraderie that was built with, within the uh, four walls of the room. Um, we also strengthened the honor code and the honor system and as such um, a lot of our cadets were reported for honor violations but not all of them were found guilty. Um, in March of this year, the Department of National Defense directed a DND study group to come up to Baguio, to PMA, to study the current situation. And as a result of that, the DND came up with this memorandum. And in this memorandum, several um, innovations and changes are to be implemented by the PMA. And let me read uh, this uh, changes. It says here that the academy is therefore directed to, number one, implement segregation by class in billeting by building, messing tables, and study areas the soonest possible time before or upon the arrival of class 2024. For your information, we have already done this. The cadets are now segregated by class uh, even before the memorandum was brought uh, down to PMA. The reason for this was because during the summer term, the cadets are really segregated by class. The first class men are right now undergoing their first term of academics. The second class cadets who have recently been uh, distributed to the different major services are also undergoing their respective trainings. The third class cadets 
are now going through the soldier team development training and of course the fourth class cadets who have just been received into the corps and who have just taken their oath as new cadets are now part of the new cadet battalion and are training to become cadets of PMA. Um, so we will be implementing this even throughout the school year. Segregation by class in terms of their barracks, segregation of their messing area in the mess hall, and the segregation of their study areas. Number two, arrange that only officers and NCOs will receive the new cadets and handle the initial training phase. Again, we are already implementing this. So right now, only officers of the Headquarters Tactics Group and non-commissioned officers are handling the training of the new cadets. Number three, educate, indoctrinate, and capacitate the lower class, most especially the new cadets, to refuse and or report illegal, immoral, and unauthorized acts and orders. Formulate and make necessary changes to regulation, regulation and classification of acts or orders. Devise monitoring measures for compliance and make necessary transitory adjustments. Again, we have already uh, been doing some measures in order to implement this uh, by indoctrinating the cadets, especially the new cadets, to report to report to authorities any illegal, immoral, and unauthorized acts or orders. Number four, design and implement courses to educate and train tactical officers and tactical NCOs. Prior to the arrival of uh, PMA Class 2024, the Headquarters Tactics Group uh, has already conducted a tactical officer seminar and workshop where we ironed out all the uh, problems that we will be facing and we have leveled no, the understanding of all the tactical officers of what our role really is. No? And uh, we have emphasized that the tactical officers are here to be mentors and coaches of the cadets. We are also uh, empowering the first class men so that they would, they would uh, exercise the power and run the affairs of the cadet corps. Number five, institutionalize measures to effectively recreate a culture of no maltreatment, no shabby, high regard of the honor code, and primacy of character development in accordance but not limited to the main findings of the study. And the main findings of the study are all written here in this uh, book. So yes, we have already institutionalized measures. If you go around the uh, barracks, you will see a lot of uh, posters rem uh, reminding the cadets about uh, not maltreating their underclassmen or any cadet for that matter, doing away with the uh, shabby no? uh, by making cadets produce, for instance, uh, cleaning paraphernalia or uh, kiwi. No? They have to buy their own uh, cleaning paraphernalia. Number six, formulate, design, and employ strategic communication and engage all relevant stakeholders of PMA for the purpose of culture change management. Uh, this is exactly what we are doing with this. We are trying to reach out to the parents of the cadets uh, and the alumni so that uh, the alum alumni can also understand what is happening now at PMA. And then finally, to submit compliance progress report as frequently as possible to the Department of National Defense. And uh, uh, we will be doing this, re submitting reports to the DND of the changes and the actions that are being done here at PMA in order to implement this DND memorandum. So those are the updates that we have for you uh, as of now. 
uh, we will be doing this again in the future so that uh, you will be informed about uh, what's happening to your sons and daughters here at PMA. Uh, to the parents of uh, PMA Class 2024, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Uh, nandito na po yung mga anak ninyo at uh, makakaasa kayo na alagaan namin sila dito. Uh, to the alumni, we are uh, asking for your assistance in helping us make academy a better academy. To all of you, until the next time, thank you very much.